Hey guys, my name is Sierra. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am currently a first year nursing student and I am in my first term of nursing school. I decided to film a week in the life of a nursing student finals edition vlog. It is currently Tuesday morning around 6 a.m. I have clinical today and then my final for my first nursing term is in exactly one week, so next Tuesday. I'm running a little late, so let's get going. So I just got back from clinical. I actually got back an hour ago, had some dinner, and didn't really do anything too productive. Right now, I am about to watch the newest episode of The Bachelorette with my sister, but I just wanted to chit chat with you guys and talk about what clinical was like today because it was my last day of clinical. Today, we had some really exciting things happen. We got our name badges for the hospital that we are going to be doing our clinicals at next term. I can show you my little picture. It's not the cutest, but that's not what it's about. And then we got checked off on several skills. So we performed our full head to toe assessment, which went really good. I was super anxious and nervous. I know everybody was, oh my gosh. And I plan on recording a video of me performing a full head to toe assessment. And if I have it done by now, it'll be right here for you to watch. It will also be in the description box below. What else did we do? We just solidified some of our skills like Peri care, ambulation, bed baths, things like that. And then we all got our certification for Pixis, which is, I believe, the medication cart program that we're going to be using at the hospital. So it was like a 30 minute process just going over how to use the computer system. It was a very productive day and fun day and kind of sad day. I just cannot believe the first term is over. So like I said, that was my last day of my clinical, but I will be returning to campus exactly one week from now for my lecture final. I'm gonna go watch The Bachelor with my sister, sorry, <laughs> and then I'm going to chit chat with you guys a little bit more tonight about clinical and some things that I need to get done and just what my week is going to look like. See you guys in a couple hours. See you guys later. Mason, tell them, what are you getting me for my birthday? Nothing. <laughs> He's riding a skateboard in the house. Wanna see the backboard? Uh, I put some stickers on it. 40 bucks on Amazon, it's pretty good. He's gonna buy me a longboard? Low board, Lowboard or longboard? It's a, it's the same thing. Well, same. well um, you're gonna have to pitch in 35 bucks. <laughs> on my it's birthday, I have to pay for part of it. Well, I mean, I snowboard and I've gotten on a skateboard and it feels kind of similar. Does anybody else snowboard and skateboard? Are they interchangeable? I don't know. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. See ya. Wow, I am so disappointed. I am so disappointed. Folks, I have some really sad news. The Bachelor is not on today. It was on, no, I mean, it is airing today on cable but we don't have cable, we watch it on Hulu. And it's really weird because it's Tuesday and I swear The Bachelor airs on Mondays. I'm just confused and now I am depressed. I will continue to drink my wine and then I think I'm going to go do a little bit of stretching and some yoga, clean up my room a little bit, study for my finals that are in a week. I started a final study guide I have that on my computer. I'm just gonna try to go through like 50 questions depending on how I'm feeling. <laughs> He's shopping for skateboards. It's like he no, just- I'm uh, looking at champion sweatshirts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> as far and as- The skateboard's for you, Sierra, so don't give me that. Okay. As far as clinicals, I feel like clinical is just getting better and better each week and more fun, getting more comfortable with the people in your cohort 
and just getting more comfortable in yourself and your abilities and your skills. And I'm so excited to start at the hospital next term. I literally cannot wait. I just can't believe this term's almost over. I cannot believe it's December. It blows my mind. I'm going to shut up now. I will see you guys in the AM. Bye. morning you guys it is Wednesday morning I am on my way to go and nanny for a family that I nanny for for work it should be a good day there's a lot of traffic right now after I get done nannying I will be working on an assignment that is due in a couple of days it is my course objectives for the term I think it's around 18 or 20 paragraphs that I have to write but we are going to knock that out, so I will show you guys that assignment. Let's get to work! I just got off work actually a couple hours early like two hours early and it's still light out so I'm going to go on a run because it's not super super cold today so I'm gonna go on a run probably get in the shower and then get started on some schoolwork and show you guys exactly what I'm doing let's go <laughs> It's a little later in the evening. It's around 10 o'clock. After I went on my run, I took a shower, got some dinner. I studied a little bit for my final coming up with my study guide that I have on my computer with a bunch of questions. And then The Bachelor. <laughs> uh, my sister and I watched the newest episode of The Bachelorette. It's an interesting season. It's called balance, you know? You have to be productive, but you also have to indulge in your guilty pleasures, so reality television baby like i said it's getting kind of late but i need to work on a couple of my paragraphs that i have due for my course objectives and i'm just going to show you guys what those look like and then probably go to sleep <laughs> i'm really tired let's get to work all right so here's my assignment it's my course objectives so we need to fill out one example from the didactic setting and one example from our clinical setting that demonstrates how we have met the course objectives. And how many are there? There's nine. I copied and pasted it in this Word document. Yeah, so I'll read one of them to you. Conduct a culturally and age-appropriate health assessment and interpret health data, such as screening for biological and psychosocial health, health risks, evidence, of safe and healthy habits, developmental tasks, and vulnerabilities, family functioning. In the end, I will have written 18 paragraphs. So I'm gonna get started on those. I don't think this will be too bad. And from what I understand, you know, because there's 10 weeks in our term, each topic doesn't have to correlate with a specific week. So I could take this topic and um, correlate it with something that happened in week nine or eight which is probably what's gonna happen for a lot of them because those weeks are a lot more fresh on my mind. Anyways, I am going to get started on that because I need to get started on that. And I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. It is time for me to go to bed now. I am signing off. 
Good night, you guys. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday morning. <laughs> I'm currently nannying right now. I think I will be having a shorter day today too. I will be trying to cram a lot in today. I still need to finish my course objectives for the first term. Assignment is due in a couple of days. I need to continue studying for finals. <laughs> And then lastly, tomorrow is our last lecture class of the term and we will be performing our group presentations. We did a group community needs project. The project itself is completed and now we just have to present it to our class over Zoom and make it extremely interactive and we all have to participate. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna work, but we'll see. I still don't really have the hang of Zoom yet. I need to kind of work on my portion of the presentation. And then exercise. For my happiness. I've got a lot to do today, um, but I think it'll be a very good day. I will see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> I just got home. Like I said, I got off work a couple hours early, so it's still light out and beautiful. I am going to go on a run because I just have a lot of energy. I just feel kind of anxious right now, and running definitely helps that. And also because you saw earlier the peanut butter cookies, and yeah, I ate several of those. I need to go on a run. We'll just see where the night takes us. Let's go. Keep all your game. Where are we going? the worst ever I am so sorry I'm also being a horrible nursing student right now I'm just so tired today didn't necessarily go as planned I got off of work and then my sister and I went to TJ Maxx and Ross which always takes longer than you think that it's going to take <laughs> and we went to Fred Meyer and picked up groceries and then my sister got charged hundred dollars for lunch meat <laughs> kind of not really doing anything that I should be doing and now I'm just so tired and I know this is like not my prime study time. It's gonna be useless. I set my alarm for five o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow's Friday morning. I'm gonna get up early, study, finish up my paragraphs that I should have had finished. I should have had them finished a while ago. But I mean, this time it's not due yet, but I'm, I'm procrastinating. And I have lecture at nine tomorrow morning and then we are presenting our group presentation. <laughs> okay, good night, you guys. <laughs> Good morning. Lovely. It is Friday morning. Um, I got up a couple hours ago. I was going over some NCLEX practice problems for my final, and then I was finishing up my course objective assignment with the 18 paragraphs for the full term. And then I just did a little bit of stretching, made some tea. Now I have class, and this will be our last lecture class for this term. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> it's crazy. We are presenting our group project which was our community needs based project our group did a video on hand washing and the importance of it and we made it interactive and fun and we presented it to the boys and girls club and supplied them with special glow germ lotion and a black light and it was really fun so now we have to present it we're presenting how we came up with the idea our research behind it sustainability so let's get to class keep all your game as and lost, as and lost, it's all the same. As and lost, 
Was ist los? Keep all your games. Was ist los? Was ist los? So say. Was ist los? Was ist los? Course objectives are done and being submitted. Last lecture of this term is officially over. I'm going to go on a run and then take a shower and get dressed. Hello, you guys. It is Saturday morning, afternoonish. Um, I'm sorry I left you hanging yesterday. It was a pretty boring night. I just continued studying for my final, was just going over NCLEX style questions, watched a little bit of Netflix, and then I just passed out. Today is going to be a good day. I'm heading out to go to the American Red Cross. If you had watched any of my previous vlogs, you would know that I had gone there recently and wasn't able to donate plasma or platelets because I recently had an immunization that was going to affect it. But now the 21 days are up and I can go donate. So I am doing that. It's part of my community service hours. Through that, I'm meeting up with my mom. We're gonna go cook dinner for my grandparents and I'm gonna check their vitals and see how they're doing. And then I will be studying much more tonight. Okay, you guys, I am here now, so I'm about to head in, but I just thought of something that I wanted to say about my finals. I am only in my first term of nursing school, and at my school specifically, they have us only take one class for our first term, and that is health promotions, so it's the fundamentals of nursing, foundations of nursing. Finals aren't too crazy, although this class has been a lot of work, don't get me wrong, and then with clinical, it feels like a whole nother class. I haven't been super, super overwhelmed with studying and things like that, and I feel like I've been proactive with my time. I'm not freaking out. However, and next term, the next two terms, I will be freaking out, and you will see all of that because I'll be taking chronic, farm, and patho. I'm gonna head into the Red Cross and give some platelets and plasma and whatever else they ask for. <laughs> Okay guys, I just finished up. I want to chat with you about how that went. That was very interesting. But I need to run into the store and grab some stuff to make spaghetti. This is my mother. Say hi Sierra's people. Hi Sierra's people. Good morning, you guys. It is Monday morning. I didn't see you yesterday because my face was in my textbook all day. I was just studying. I stayed in my pajamas. It was really nothing eventful, but I studied literally all day. I am on my way to go nanny. I should be getting off relatively early. I'll be coming home studying some more. And then we have our finals tomorrow. And then the term is officially over. I am so excited to just feel stress-free and just have Christmas break. So let's go. Good evening, you guys. It is Monday evening. Oh my gosh, it's almost midnight. I have just been studying since I got back from nannying. Had some dinner, took a shower, exercised a bit. My final is tomorrow morning. I'm gonna wake up around six, go over a couple more NCLEX style questions, and then meet up with my carpool group and we are going to head to take our last final of the term and then I am going to celebrate Christmas vacation, baby. I'll see you guys in the morning. 
Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning and finally the morning of my final. I'm so excited to just get this over with and not be so stressed out. I cannot wait. I'm heading out to meet up with my carpool group. We're gonna head over to our campus because we take our finals in person just for many different reasons. Academic integrity, honesty, and things like that. I'm gonna go take my final. I will let you guys know how it goes and I'll see you very soon. Hey you guys, so I just got home. My exam is officially over. I am done with my first term of nursing school for the most part. There's one more thing I have to do, which I'm gonna show you guys. What is it called? I'll be right back. An assignment popped up for us to do. It's our end of course survey. So it's worth five points. Basically our constructive criticism for the course, what we think was amazing, what we think could be improved. It's an anonymous survey. I'm going to take that and finish that soon. And then I can say I am finally done with my first term of nursing school. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was expecting to feel so extremely relieved once my final was over and just happy. I don't. I still feel stressed out and I think a lot of it has to do with, I don't know my grades, like 60 of us taking this final and then once we're all out of the building, everybody's discussing the final and, and you're hearing what other people answered for a question and then you're getting in your head about how you answered it and if you missed it and we're all just discussing all of the questions because one thing about the program that I attend is we don't really go over our final questions in it. I think that's something that is trying to get worked on but we don't go over the full exam. Like we didn't really go over the midterm. We went over a couple of the questions but we didn't go over the full test itself which was unfortunate because it would have been really helpful to actually go over the whole test to get proper feedback. The girl I write up with said something that I thought was a great point and it was everything I answer on a test, I answer it because I think it's right. So I need to know why it's not right. And something that's huge in nursing school is knowing the rational behind things. I feel like it would be extremely helpful if we went over all of the questions. I'm hoping that that will change in the future. Anyways, with any final, like even in A&P, any of my prerequisite courses that I took, you don't ever go over the final exam because the term is over and then you wait for your grades. I know that if we have any questions, we can email our instructor and she will get back to us and answer those for us. So that will be really helpful. I just feel like stressed out. I just want to know my grades. Right now I have a 96% in my class, which is health professions, fundamentals of nursing, foundations of nursing, whatever you want to call it. And of course, like a good student, I calculated what I can and cannot miss on the exam to keep my A. At my school, an A consists of 92 to 100%. I'm really freaking out because I want to keep an A in the class. I'm kind of sad in myself if I don't. We should be getting our grades back here shortly, like literally any minute. I will let you guys know what happens and how that goes. It's the end of the first term. I cannot believe it. I literally think to myself, in a year and a half, I will be a registered nurse. That sounds frightening. It seems so far away, yet it seems so close. I just plan on being 100% transparent and honest on this channel and sharing with you guys all the difficulties and struggles and the great things that happen you know along this whole nursing journey so let's finish my last assignment of the year the year is over what the f it's crazy all right you guys here's the quiz so first <laughs> quiz instructions please be professional and constructive with your feedback please complete this anonymous survey that is worth five points question one Overall, I'm satisfied with clinicals. True or false? All right, I'm gonna finish doing this and I'll see you guys in a second. Frank, with surprising breadth and volume. Has anybody heard of this wine? Yes, darling. Macabre. Okay. Hi guys! Hey, want to hear a funny joke? Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to this video. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to. <laughs> we gotta go. Okay, I'm ending the weekly vlog. I wanted to let you guys know I got an 84 in my exam, so I finished off the term with a A. I hope you guys have a 
have a great rest of your morning. Beep, 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 yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, and I will see you guys very 